Biden's uh, uh, basically one of his chief aides. I mean, here he's he's trained by the U.S. Special Forces, and, uh, uh, and his name is all over this uh, this whole Al Qaeda operation. It seems like Al Qaeda, when you look at him, have more people. In it. And let's not also let's not forget Adam Gadon, who was born Adam Perlman, who's uh, I believe his grandfather was the head of the ADL yes. in, in Los Angeles. He's the if Bin Laden is dead, Osama, he would be. That would make him Al Amriki number two guy in charge of the so-called Al Qaeda. But it's supposedly patriotic to ignore all this, wrap yourself in the flag, give up all your liberties in the name of fighting terror, and then we learn Israeli, British, uh, you name it, are part of NLE 9 NLE 10 quote, training to take on American terrorists, and we learn the entire apparatus of Homeland Security is not aimed at their Muslim cutouts, it's aimed at liberals, conservatives, anti-war activists, gun owners, returning veterans, uh, and the threat fusion centers are pointed at the locals. Uh, I mean, this, uh, this is a criminal takeover, and they staged 9-11 to get it done. I, that's what I believe. I believe it was a coup d'etat, uh, uh, a, a, a creeping coup d'etat, because we know that they had the Patriot Act, uh, Patriot Act already written. It was ready to go, and they just needed a, a vehicle to... Uh, push it through Congress, and of course that was the anthrax attacks uh, just a few weeks after 9-11. And we know, according to the Rand Corporation, when they passed the Derivatives uh, uh, Act, uh, got rid of Glass-Steagall in, in 99, they began this accelerated move to a police state, and they knew this bubble and all their crimes were going to be coming out. They needed this control grid in place to be able to suppress the American people. Here we are nine years later, and they're saying... Homeland Security is for you. The Army's going to take you on. You don't like having your pension funds taken. The Army and threat fusion centers have federalized your local police. Guess what? The CIA is operating in every town and city. Doesn't matter if it's illegal. Uh, and, uh, I mean, you can really see the premeditated blueprint of this. Right. And I always remember what longtime White House correspondent Sarah McClendon, who was from Texas, uh, once said when she, she got Bush aside, old man Bush, George H.W. Bush, and, 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 and asked him a question, and he turned to her and said, Sarah, if the American people knew what we have done, they would chase us down the street and hang us. And I think he, for once, Bush was probably telling the truth. And people always say something as big as 9-11, you couldn't hide it. They haven't hi hidden it. It's like taking a coffee can and shooting it with a 12-gauge shotgun with number seven birdshot. There's hundreds of holes in it. I mean, it's oh. just a sieve, uh, a t total proof. We know exactly what they did, and there it is. I, I, that's right. And, I, you know, I was just talking to a guy who worked in the Pentagon on 9-11. He, he was a, a senior Air Force uh, Department official, and he said when he came out, he looked in that... He looked in that hole, that original hole, and he saw a small uh, a, a jet fan engine, the kind that you find on a on a drone. He, he saw nothing that indicated that a a, a passenger plane had hit the Pentagon. Amazing. Uh, in closing, what do you see happening with the cybersecurity takeover? I mean, how obvious is it? I'm going to have to hold well, you into the final segment of this hour because I want to get into WikiLeaks, too. But to, 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 to have the Israelis tacitly admit they launched the super worm, clearly with Microsoft working with them, according to the computer experts I've read in the press, but this is your main expertise as computers, mm -hmm. formerly with the NSA, uh, it's industrial, it has to be loaded directly in. So Israel and our media basically admit they did it, but the, now they're on the news saying we need to use this Stuxnet worm to pass cybersecurity takeover. So there's another false flag. They admittedly launch it, and then we have to lose our Internet freedom because the government launched an attack. Right, and, we, and we, look, even though Rahm Emanuel left the White House, we still have good old Cass Sunstein and his co cognitive infiltration team up there, and I think, you know, as long as he's in that job, uh, uh, we have to be very fearful of what the, the agenda is. And, and obviously, yes, we had this launch of this... Uh, uh, this Internet worm that uh, was said to have uh, disrupted Iran, but it spread quickly to other countries in Asia, and then it bounced back here into this country. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, unfortunately, when you look at the uh, the, the people in the, on the Homeland Security Committee, people like Joe Lieberman from Connecticut, uh, he, his agenda, of course, is to increase the surveillance state and expand it beyond its present confines. But how brazen is that where the government basically admits they launched the worm and then don't worry, they'll take over the web and surveil you to save you from the worm they admittedly launched? 
Well, I think one of the one of the other agendas they have is they want to, uh, in controlling the internet, they also want to be able to have the access to all the encrypted communications that go across the internet, uh, from financial transactions to people even doing e-commerce, uh, doing uh, shopping on the internet. Oh, they were on local news. Uh, do five more minutes with us on the other side, Wayne, because I want to get into WikiLeaks. But they were on the news this morning, going, "The Threat Fusion Center, run by the CIA, is about to be launched in Austin. It will have all your medical records. Everything you do will be tracked. You know, no warrants. It's great." And I heard talk show host locally praising it, saying, "I have nothing to hide. Surveil me." Hey, folks, this is a terrorist government. It's federalizing your local police. It's a Gestapo. And uh, Wayne, your comments. Uh, I agree. I mean, well, you know, I mean, you pick up the paper uh, any any day and you see, you know, a policeman has tasered an old lady somewhere. You know, I mean, this is this is what we've turned into. Do five more minutes with us and we'll let you go. Wayne Matson Report dot com. I want to talk about WikiLeaks and all of the chicanery going on there. Uh, you've got a. Uh you know, a, a view towards not trusting him. We'll get your take on the other side and let Wayne Madsen go. And then we've got a big guest coming up uh, with some key intel. Lindsey Williams going to drop some bombshells on you. Stay with us. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over five years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light System today complete with two black Berkey elements for only $209 and the Berkey guy will include three sport Berkey water bottles and ship everything to you free of charge. That's right, three sport Berkey water bottles and free shipping. An $87 value, yours free. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653. Or order online at goberkey.com. That's goberkey.com today. They helped to create a new world order. We are part of a new world order. A new world order based upon collective action. Invisible Empire is a damning indictment of the globalists through their own words and documents. The new world order really is a tool for addressing a new world of possibilities. It means all the world under their control. The United Nations would take over America. The Trilateral Commission would control the world. Invisible Empire chronicles how men of power and influence have worked in stealth for centuries to establish an oppressive world government. I believe, first of all, that we now need nothing short of a world constitution for the global financial system. Global governance with the establishment of the G20. So it's going to be an inner ruling elite and then everyone else. And I got news for you. You're everyone else. Invisible Empire. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or PrisonPlanet.com or watch it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. What if a natural or man-made disaster forced you to flee your house in a moment's notice? Are you prepared to grab and go? You will be with My Evac Pack, the ultimate survival kit for emergency evacuations, and we mean ultimate. My Evac Pack is an easy-to-carry bag packed with 44 essential food servings and dozens of indispensable get-out-of-town supplies. My Evac Pack comes in two sizes, a backpack or a rolling duffel bag. Both are packed with great-tasting, nutritionally dense, long-shelf-life food, plus all kinds of tools and supplies to help you and your family survive just about any kind of survival situation. See the new video and all you get in My Evac Pack at MyEvacPack.com Spelled M-Y-E-V-A-C-P-A-C-K dot com. MyEvacPack.com Or call 877-327-0365 That's 1-877-327-0365 Get My Evac Pack today because you can't predict when or where an emergency will strike. This country has fallen to absolute financial corruption. The police state is to secure the criminal gains. You are the target. I am the target. Wayne Madsen is the target. The Muslim extremists are the sword of the New World Order. And they're no doubt getting ready for domestic groups to stage events to really go after the American people. Uh, don't forget we have the online video bookstore with key tools to further educate yourself, but mainly wake up your friends and family. 
terror storm, a history of government-sponsored terrorism, two hours of all the cases of admitted stage terror, very well produced. Everybody needs to see that. Fall the Republic to understand the financial terrorism and the globalist takeover, the surveillance grid. The Secret of Oz exposing, of course, the uh, financial fraud system and how to replace it. Endgame covers the master plan of eugenics. All available at Infowars.com. And you can also see all my films in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. And we're adding new media up there every day at PrisonPlanet.tv. You can also call and order the books and videos at 888-253-3139. We've added a lot of new T-shirts and bracelets and pins and little pocket knives that have Infowars.com on it. Don't tread on me with a little light. Very inexpensive. Great way to spread the word. Infowars.com. Check it out today and you make all this possible. Wayne, we got about four minutes left. Uh, WikiLeaks, you know, they're supposedly now saying they're going to list them as a group aiding terror so they can't get financial donations, something Cass Sunstein's called for against the general public. Uh, they've, they've tried to claim he's raping people and then they've dropped it, you know, sexual assault. I mean, do you still think you smell a big rat with WikiLeaks? Well, with any limited hangout psyop operation, you've got to sweeten the pie. You've got to give the group some sort of street cred. So when they release the information you really want them to release, uh, people will swallow that hook, line, and sinker. So the first big revelation, of course, was the video footage in Iraq of the of the guy shooting up these uh, the alleged journalists uh, on the street. Okay, that gave them the street cred. But then we saw with the late the la the last big um, uh, dump of information, uh, they uh, it, it, it insinuated that. Uh, 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 the Taliban was being supported by Pakistan and also by Iran, which fits very nicely into David Petraeus' uh, uh, spread this conflict of, out, outside of Afghanistan uh, to Pakistan to destabilize that country with the view of breaking it up to seize their nuclear weapons eventually and also to uh, turn up the heat on Iran. Very advantageous for these, uh, these war planners to have those uh, those particular revelations. And WikiLeaks may not even know this, but clearly 90-something thousand pages of cooked intelligence that we know is false, that's what gets leaked. That's right, that's right. And and we know they've even in, within WikiLeaks, they've had a big, uh, uh, you know, some people have left uh, accusing uh, 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 Julian Assange of uh, uh, acting like a dictator. And I would note that Sweden recently denied him residency, uh, residency permit in, in, in the country. So... Um, maybe the Swedes are catching on as well. I don't know. But I, I've never been comfortable in accepting, uh, especially with the involvement of the New York Times, The Guardian, and, and Spiegel in Germany, that always seem to get these documents first. Where do you see the whole WikiLeaks saga going? Uh, do you have any intel on what these new revelations the Pentagon says they're bracing for? Oh, yeah, when the Pentagon says they're bracing for it, what are they doing? They're adding to the uh, anticipation, aren't they? I mean, they're, they're building up to this crescendo, so everybody, all the media is waiting patiently, uh, you know, with uh, the drool dripping from their tongues, uh, <laughs> waiting for these these revelations. I think that's all part of the show. Why does the, uh, why does the Pentagon even pay attention to it? Uh, it would make sense if they had uh, actual important documents that could hurt you know, war fighters abroad, is, is what they say, uh, they would kind of ignore it. Yeah, briefly, what do you think of Schaefer? I, I think he's on to something. I think uh, Schaefer, uh, that whole thing, he wasn't the only person who tried to talk about Able Danger, Dorhawk Galley, but I think if we uh, could have read his book and, and the notes and everything else, we would have uh, had even more revelation. But that got blocked. Wayne Madsen, WayneMadsenReport.com. Thanks for popping in with us. Okay, anytime. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen, with Lindsey Williams. You don't want to miss these developments. You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. 
Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolar.com.